Yo, what up guys? Old School Dan here, checking in with the back and biceps workout. I'm starting off with a bent over row. I was already in my last heavy set. I think it was done for like maybe 6 to 8 reps. Maybe like 12 actually. I think it was maybe the first it was 12. But I know the, the, my rep scheme was 12, 10, 8, 6 and then 15. So yeah, I'm trying to work I'm trying to work up on bringing the thickness of my back because I think that's why I got second place. I needed a thicker, more dense back. And I just repeated the same clip here because... This video is going to be really short if I just use the real, the basic footage that I used initially, I mean to record with. So yeah, some heavy rows. Some days you got to go for that heavy weight. Some days you got to go for some contractions. Some guy left a comment on my Insta. He's like, with that form, he's like, it forms pretty shitty. I'm like, well, it's not. I just said in the, I just said in the description, it's not always about the contraction. That you want to use some days for contractions. Other days to move that heavy ass weight because the back can take a lot of ball. You can take a lot of taxing. You know, All right here we got cable rows done for 10, 8, 8. So increasing weight every set. Cable row and some heavy rows. You can see all that weight I'm using. Probably not the best one, but like I said earlier. Some days you want to go for contractions and squeezes and stuff like that. Other days you want to row that heavy ass weight, you know. It's not always going to be freaking lolly dolly, you know, contraction, contraction. I know a lot of people on here are natural bodybuilders and they follow Team 3D and Jay. He's always doing, you know, really good form. I res understand and respect that, but everybody has their own methods, so each to their own. T-bar row, chest supported T-bar row, done for three sets of ten. All right, just focus on squeezing, squeezing, squeezing that back. You know, the next time I hit back, it's going to be a contraction part. I'm going to just start hitting, uh, you know, just focusing on, like, less weight. But really feeling the weight, getting those good contractions. I knew a guy that was, you know, he had a good back before, but, you know, started to focus more on just squeezing the back instead of moving the weight. His back just blew up. Then I've known other people that can just row heavy ass weight and they have a big back. So again, like it's all each to their own. There's not really one specific method for people out there. But if you have a method, if someone has a method out there that's working for a lot of people, then that could be almost a majority thing. Right here, hyperextensions done for the lower back. If you don't have that Christmas tree in your lower back and you want that Christmas tree, you got to be doing these. I've heard other people say they do RDLs or stiff-legged stiff -like deadlifts or rack pulls or deadlifts. I go to the hyperextensions. I, I, you know, I've known some people that are bodybuilders and they've never really done a lot of deadlifts but have a nice Christmas tree. You know, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of deadlifts or rack pulls too much, but I do hyperextensions and they give me a good lower back. You get that Christmas tree. Did three sets of 15. Three sets of 15. You can do four. And then I did a drop set right after. I did a 40 pound, 45 pound plate for 15. Dropped it off. And then I did uh, another set of drop set of 12 reps. And I did some heavy curls here. Done for three sets of six to eight reps. And then I ended up doing a, a triple drop set for the last one. I started off with 15. Then I went to 10 pounds. Then I did five pounds. And then I didn't do the bar. I just left it like that by fat, by, at five pounds. So it's a heavy ass weight. I'm curling. You know, just some compound movements for the biceps because they got taxed pretty hard when you're doing these these heavy compound movements like rows and stuff like that. And with that, the time you start hitting biceps, they're already tired. You know, you kind of really want to focus on progressively overloading those those uh you know bigger muscle groups and the smaller ones will follow, like biceps and triceps. Those ones will follow if you you know you get a good bench press or you know a good back. We got some hammer curls. You can call this "quote unquote" accessory work, yada yada, whatever. Hammer curls done for the brachialis to make the arm look a lot thicker from the side. Good for the forearms. Good for biceps too. I usually always kind of include it in my program here and there. Done for three sets of eight to ten reps. Yeah, some good exercise for the arms. So guys, one more time. I am offering online coaching for a pretty sweet deal. You want you want to jump on that? Shoot me a DM on Instagram, Facebook, or shoot me an email at oldschoolphysiquesteam at gmail.com. That being said, subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Old School Dan. I'm gone. Peace.